everybody, my name is Macaron Teacup Baby and welcome to a tutorial on how to animate with The Sims 3! Sims 3 Custom Animations! This tutorial is very simple and straightforward, nothing to it. You will need a few items, so let's get started. Okay, so you'll need the following items. You'll need The Sims 3 and you don't need any expansion packs unless you are working with the Pets Rig. Just the base game's fine, but if you're working with the Pets Rig, you will need the Pets Expansion Pack. You don't necessarily need Bandy Zip, I just have it there because I like Bandy Zip, it's a great zip extractor, but you don't really, well, I don't think you'll need it. I don't, I don't know, but I don't think you'll need it. Sims 3 Rigs, which you can download right here. Sims 3 Package Editor, which I will provide links in the description for this, but you just want to click on this one right here. That's the one I clicked on. Blender, and I'm using version 7. Point... I actually don't remember what version I'm using, or 2.76 or something like that. I don't remember what ver I don't remember what version I'm using. It'll be said when I open the pack, when I open the uh, app. And finally, the plugin for the Blender to export your Sims 3 animation, which is on this site right here. You can download it right here. That's where you download it. And the Sims rigs are right here, the Pets rigs are right here. Yay for this website. So the first thing we're going to do is open up Blender. And it's 2.76a. Okay, that's what it was. I'm just going to delete these. Don't, we don't really need to do that, but we're doing it anyway. Then what you want to do is you want to go to File, User Preferences, and then click Install from File. You're going to navigate to wherever you have this uh, plugin. You're going to install from File. And since I've already installed it, I'm just going to search um, Sim, no, what is it? S3. There we go, right here. S3 PY Animation Tools, you're going to checkbox that and click Save User Settings. You can X off of this now and you can now export Sims 3 animations. You export, there it is at the bottom, yay! So you're going to open up the Sims 3 rig, which I'm going to open up the female rig because why not? Now what I like to do, and this is optional you don't have to do this but I do it anyway because it's easier so when you rotate the pelvis you'll notice that the legs come with it and so you have to pose the legs if you rotate the pelvis you have to pose the legs and that just takes a long time no one wants to do that no one wants to do that Reset the rig real quick. So what I like to do is I like to add a K bones to my legs and sometimes I add them to my arms as well. It depends on the animation I'm going for. But for this animation, we're just going to do a simple wave and we're just going to use um, the IK bones for the legs only. So what you wanna do is you wanna select the ankle bone by right clicking, right clicking on the ankle bone. Go to pose. Inverse kinematics, add IK to bone to new empty object. We're going to select the IK that they just made, push the S on our keyboard and scale it down just a little bit. And then we're gonna click on the ankle bone again. Oh, 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 no, oh my gosh, what happened? Okay, click on the ankle bone again, go to this tab right here, bone constraints tab. You're going to set the chain to three, chain length to three. Don't worry about the other stuff, the other stuff's fine. And you're going to check box the rotation. As you can see here, it made the ankle really weird looking, but that's okay, we can fix it. Just click on the IK bone and rotate it downwards. Like that. And just let you all know to um, view, like the side view, front view, top view. Front view is the number key one on the side keyboard. I'm going to sh show you a picture of what I mean by that. But it's number one on your keypad, number three for the side view, and number seven for top view. If you want to do back view, it's control one. 
the other side control three and underside control seven. So now we have that, but we're going to do the other leg as well. Okay, now that we have our IK bones, we can now do this number. We can also, also move the hips, maybe if I could find the pelvis, without the legs going everywhere. We can just kind of move them a little bit, just a little, little twist there. Yeah, look at that, children. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and make a simple waving animation, so I'm going to give her a more relaxed pose. And I'm also rotating with the R on the keyboard. I don't know if I said it or not, I don't remember. But I just right click on the bone, select R, and I rotate it. Again, R, rotation. Go to the side view. Rotation. Rotation. And for this tutorial, I'm not going to post the fingers. I, I should, but this is going to be a very quick tutorial, so I'm not going to do that. So what I like to do now is, do you see where the keys are down here? Right here, where my mouse is hovering? You click on that, click on Location Rotation, or Lock Road, this one right here. Click on that, and when you push I, it will automatically do the keyframe for Lock Rotation. We're also going to do that with the IKs as well, so we're going to lock rotate the IKs as well. And I want my uh, animation to start on frame 2, so I'm going to push 2 where it says start animation. Just push 2 there. And just lock rotation. I, A, I. This will rotate everything. So I'm going to go forward a couple of frames, like about, eh, I'm going to say frame 13. I'm going to, um, of course, keyframe all of that. And this is to help, um, I'm not sure how to explain this better. I'm not sure how to explain what I, why I did that. But you'll want to do that, trust me. Then you're going to go forward a few frames, we're on frame 13, so about frame 25. We're going to lift up her leg. And rotate it downwards. I, for the... We'll go forward a few more frames. Rotate it up. Move it this way. I am gonna take this right there. Oops, did I not push I? Yeah, I did. Okay, I pushed it. Make sure when you push I that you're on the rig. Your mouse is hovering over the rig, like that, like in this in the three D view window.
it looks pretty good, right? Well, not really. I didn't really try on this. But we're going to go ahead and export this animation. Yay for exporting animations. So to do that, you're going to go to File, Export, Sims 3 Animation. And you're going to call it for adult. It's A underscore. If you're doing like a child, it's C underscore. Toddler is P underscore. And I think baby is B underscore. I could be wrong, but I'm not sure about baby animations. I just know the A, C, and P are the uh, adult, child, and toddler. So you call this, the name is going to be A underscore if you're using an adult. We're going to call this wave. We're going to push OK. A underscore wave. OK. I'm going to save it in Sims animation. Save it. Don't but don't bother the name. By the way, do not bother the name. So now you're going to going to open up Sims Three Package Editor, and you're going to wait for a minute. File New Resources Import from File. And you're going to find where you put your animation, which is right here. And this is the animation we want. Open. Click OK. And then go to File, Save As. And you're going to save it wherever you put your animations, which for me will be Documents. Or actually, you want it in Document Electronic Arts Sims 3. Mods, packages, and just save it uh, and the package file on your documents in the Sims 3 um, folder. We're going to call this wave. Push save. You next off of this now. And then you want to launch up Sims 3. I'm going to pause this video. Um, or I could just cut it out, I guess. That's fine too. I also forgot to mention, guys, you're going to need the Sims 3 animation player. And you're going to go to the uh, the link in the description, go to files, and then click on this. And you're going to put that file into documents, electronic arts, wherever that is. There it is. Sims 3, mods, and then packages. And you're going to put it in wherever folder you want. I put mine in mods. But you're going to put that in there, and or you can just put it in the package file. That's fine too. No need to make a new folder like I have. So yeah. Okay, here we are in our game. We're in our Sims game and we're going to test the animation out. So remember I told you to download the animation player? To find the animation player, which I already have it right here, you're going to go into buy mode. Um, sort by function, decor, miscellaneous decor. And here it is right here for just a simoleon and you're going to place it anywhere in the world. Also, what I would suggest doing is Control Shift C. Yes, Control Shift C. Shift, Shift C. Testing cheats enabled on. Again, Control Shift C. Type in movie. If I can spell maker. Cheats enabled space on. And you're going to shift click on your sim and turn off look at. Now you're going to go into the animation player. You're going to, I'm going to reset this actually. Go to add to playlist and remember the um, name we gave it in the blender, the A underscore or C underscore or P underscore. You're going to call this whatever you use. So A for adult, C for child, and P for toddler. And I think B is for baby. I could be wrong, but I, I don't know about baby, honestly. So for me, it's going to be A underscore wave. Just check mark that and then exit off of that. We're going to play it and see if it works. Yep, it worked. Yay for working. Hooray, finally. <laughs> Let's try it again, just to show you that it works in front view. And that's the basics of getting your Sims 3 to, uh, Sims 3 animation into Sims 3.
So I hope this tutorial helped. If it did, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in a Sims 4 animation tutorial very soon. So take care, guys. Bye.